I didn't really film myself painting these much, but I painted these today. Uh, these three kind of bottom ones here. Just testing different ideas, using clashing patterns, doing an underpainting that's like this. So you can see it poking through there, and then it's like in all the lines and stuff. And Definitely like a new kind of style for me. I still like the ones where it's sort of more plain too. Um, it's kind of getting me in the mood to do like block print making as well. Um, actually don't know how interesting it is for you guys to watch me chat while just looking at my paintings. So, oh, now it's out of focus, all right. Um, I'm definitely anxious to get to doing larger work, like um, doing these on a bigger scale. Um, I'm actually being like a lot more careful with this than I usually am. I'm usually not very, I usually just like fucking do it. But I really have wanted to do these like little test paintings just so I have like a clear idea of what I'm doing so that when I do it I just am more confident basically. And I still have like these small ones that I'm doing too and testing on. And this is like my next size up that I'm going to work on. Um, and like right now I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, what's the technique that I'm doing for this one? Am I incorporating patterns? Am I just doing like, well, that's the side that is good for me to get in touch with more is to um, be just more careful. It's really good to have like the get up and go and be like, okay, I have this idea. I'm going to just do it, see how it goes. That's really important. And that's the energy that I'm putting into these test paintings. But when it comes down to like making like a solid body of work, then it's like, your brain kicks in a little bit more, there's a little bit more critical thinking, there's a little bit more, I wanna say judgment, but I'm not sure if that's the word. Um, just more decision making. Just hit the wrong button, what does the matter? Ooh. Make sure you like, try some like 360 pans and just see if it can do it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I'm with Gage and Everett, and we're gonna go shoot a skate video. I'm not Gage. <laughs> it's like a piece of set deck. <laughs> it's like a piece of set deck. <laughs> Nothing like leftover pizza for lunch. I also have a hard time eating pizza without some soda. This is Sprite. I don't really drink pop, but they're just such a good combo together. Uh, okay. Like what else is there to focus on? Just focus on my face. I haven't really filmed much of a vlog, like at all. I haven't been filming while I'm painting. I just haven't really been filming. Uh, oh. Well, I guess I can talk about what I'm painting. Meh. I've talked about it a little. Yeah, let's go talk about it a little. Sort of looks like I painted some naughty stuff in the background there. It was, <clears throat> that was an accident. That's what I've done since I did those. This little guy, which is still, he's still a work in progress. And this little guy, which I'm not sure if he's done or not. See, on camera, he looks really good with the dough being just the white background so I it's stained white this wood piece and then I resined and then all this paint is on top of that resin so I'm I haven't painted this this is just like the white wood underneath and like on camera it looks good but like in person when I look at it it looks kind of bare and sort of like you can't tell it's donut dough um, and this I just have to add a couple more colors um, 
I painted the background here and then painted everything else on top so the background's poking through like in the back there and like it serves as all the lines so these lines are actually the background. And it's the same idea with those paintings there where I paint a background and then I'm basically like I'm painting on top but I'm leaving the background to serve as like lines, to serve as negative space and sometimes as positive space. My next thing is to do yet another hot dog because no amount of hot dogs is too many hot dogs. Okay. A little side note here, I don't mean for this to be like a... It's not... Focus on my face, not Casey Neistat's. Okay. I don't mean this to be like a pushy sales pitch thing, but like all my paintings that you see are for sale. Um, like the originals. I'm also really happy to do commissions. So if you like wanted your own hot dog donut or like a banana or a cake or something painted, um, or a portrait, like I've done portraits too, um, I can do that. And if you want to see examples of my other work, you can go to my website, which is brandybyhoffer.com and check them out. Also, I have a Redbubble shop, uh, which is basically I upload my work and you can get it as prints, as t-shirts, as mugs. You know, being an artist, one of my main goals is, of course, to like make work that I like and I'm proud of. And also, like, I do want to make money at this. This is something that I want to have as a career. And every time you guys purchase something through my Redbubble or order a painting from me, um, you know, that really makes my day. It's, um, real need. I'm, like, having to block his face. Anyway, like, doing art is fun and great, and, uh, you know, if I never got paid for it ever in my life, I would probably still always paint. Working on making a website now, where I can post the stuff that I have for sale, um, but for now, you can just, like, visit my outdated gallery on my own website. As, as always, thank you for watching this vlog. <laughs> Please subscribe. Follow me at B by Hoffer on Twitter, Instagram, and you can follow this guy too. That's Casey Neistat, my fucking camera. <laughs>